Julian is known for its apple pies and small town charm, but how the area came to be is deeply rooted in black history. ABC 10 News anchor Nia Watson takes an in-depth look into the African-American pioneers of Julian. Nestled in the county's northeastern mountains is Julian, California. Today, it's snowy winters and apple pies attract thousands to this old-fashioned town. But in the 1800s, it was the discovery of gold that would turn this land into a thriving mining district. It all begins with this man here, Fred Coleman. He was a black man from Kentucky. I met historian David Lewis at the Julian Museum. Lewis's family has lived in Julian for five generations. He wrote the book, African American Pioneers in Julian, California. Based on county tax records, Lewis says Coleman was in Julian as early as 1863, before the town was founded in 1870. Keep in mind, this was in the middle of the Civil War. Fred being a black man from Kentucky, would likely have been enslaved. So how is he here in California running around on his own? Lewis believes the Civil War led many to migrate to the West in search of a better life. According to local lore, Coleman was crossing the creek one day and stopped to feed his horse when he looked down and saw something that resembled gold. Fred had to have known what he was looking at, which tells me he was probably in Northern California first at the gold rush up there. The word got out and would lead to a gold rush in San Diego County. But Lewis says what was even more important than Coleman finding gold was that he built the first real road into Julian with help from Native Americans. This is a map here of the Coleman Toll Road. That was the way the freight came in and gold ore went back down to be asked, uh, sold. Around the corner from the museum on Main Street is the Julian Gold Rush Hotel. Now, back then, it was Hotel Robinson, founded by former slave Albert Robinson and his wife, Margaret. In 1896, they, Albert and Margaret got married. The year the hotel was built is a bit controversial. For a long time, people assumed it was in 1897, the date on the plaque in front of the building. But Lewis believes it was actually in 1902, based on newspaper articles around that time. I found another article in April of 1902 that says Albert Robinson is constructing a new hotel in Julian. It'll be completed and ready for occupation in a few months. It wasn't the only hotel in town, but the only one owned by black people. Still, the Robinsons were able to make a living off the business for many years. You've got a black couple in an all-white town that decide they can make it. Albert Robinson died in 1915 and was buried here in the Julian Pioneer Cemetery along with three other African Americans. Beside Albert is Margaret's daughter, Martha Boyd. Margaret's mother, Susan Toll, is buried here too. Martha died when she was about 18 years old, the same year our, our great mother died. Also a woman named America Newton. She established a, a washing uh, business for the miners and the, and the townspeople. Newton came to Julian in 1872. Lewis, who also looks after the Pioneer Cemetery, says he noticed Newton's headstone while creating a new map for the cemetery. We were talking about it earlier that at first people didn't think that blacks could be it was assumed, here. I was assumed this, this was a whites only cemetery. Records show the graves were under the care of Margaret. As for Margaret, her story runs dry after she sold the hotel in 1920 and left town. I think she got $1,500 for it. But the current owners made sure to preserve its historic integrity with original fixtures and photos of Albert and Margaret on the walls. I just wish that I could talk to them. Lewis says Albert and Margaret's story is his favorite. Well, to think they made it all the way from slavery to business owners in this town and were successful by Julian standards, successful. While African Americans make up a small piece of Julian's history, it's no doubt that their contributions played a part in what Julian is today. And Julian, Neil Watson, ABC 10 News. You can find Lewis's book on the African American pioneers of Julian at the Julian Bookhouse and Julian Museum.